What's up guys? Today we're going to take a 40 something inch long longboard deck for dancing and we're going to be cutting it down making about a 28 inch long skateboard deck. I'm going to put wheel wells in it because that's probably going to be the main problem I'm going to be struggling with uh, is getting wheel bite because there's really no concave here. It's going to be a pretty flat board. There's a slight concave but that's definitely going to be a struggle. Uh, it's a nine inch wide board. So I cut it off. I got to cut the wheel wheels. This is kind of a shame if you like longboarding because look at this. I mean, there was not even any razor tail on this. This is going to be a fun little setup. It's going to be really squirrely because I've got Indy with a really short wheelbase. It's like a 12 inch wheelbase. All right, so I'm going to actually try to test this out at the skate park for the first time. I think this side has just a slightly shorter tail, and I kind of need that. I'm using my iPhone for the audio and the Insta360 for the video, so I'm, I am trying to torture myself here, uh, you know, because editing this is going to be awful. But I am skating indies for the first time in a while. I'm going to be selling these, or actually I'm trying to sell these on eBay. Please buy them. I need the money. Let's try to do a no comply. Not the best no comply. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. They actually sold a board like this. At one time, I remember seeing a completely flat board for sale on Daddy's Board Shop. It's the same company as CCS, but it's the long board side. Oh, you know what? If this was like a little bit longer, longer wheelbase and shorter tails, might not be a bad board. So let's try to ollie. Ooh, that is hard to ollie. 180. It's like you really need the nose and the tail curved up for those tricks. I think if you got used to it, you could do it. But it's definitely hard, and uh, the wheel bite is a real issue. So I moved the front truck up four or five inches or so. Uh, so it's definitely more skatable, more stable now. I've got just a short nose. I can't even really pop off of it. It's so short. That's pretty cool. So I'm thinking this could be a board that I could use if I really damaged my back ankle and I couldn't handle standing on a curved platform like normal. Sometimes when I sprain my ankle, I can't handle that. So I think this could be a good setup for somebody with some kind of ankle problems. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, really hard to skate. Don't even ask me to kickflip this. Like I can only rock to fakie it like one out of 10 times. So after saying I couldn't kickflip it, I was able to kickflip it pretty easy. Probably couldn't three flip it. It's hard to flip back over because it's wider than the truck. So you can't just like push on the truck there when you land it upside down. Um, yeah, it's a pretty wide board. It's really heavy. I think the heaviness might be more of a problem than the lack of the tail. I think the lack of a nose is more of a problem for ollies than the lack of a tail because I can actually pop with this tail pretty decently enough to at least kick flip it. But the lack of a nose, I can't really scoop it up. I'm having trouble with that. Maybe I could figure that out. It's just a different kind of pop and scoop. So as you guys know, I'm trying to use all my boards fully until they're completely destroyed. So I will be using this board again, but next time I use it, I'm gonna be using it with these bindings, kind of like a snowboard. The next video with that, uh, I think that's gonna work out a little bit better because that kind of hurts me when I have a nose and a tail, but a flat board I think would be really good with those bindings. And then it'll free up this mini logo board so I can actually skate that to its full potential and uh, completely destroy it. So yeah, I'm just trying to go through all these boards before I buy anything else new and just really, really skate them. So I was able to squeak out a 360 flip, a few heel flips. Uh, I thought it would be good for hard flips because it's short, but I was not able to land a hard flip or an inward heel flip with this board. So it was good for Nolly shows. Uh, it was good for big spins. It wasn't good for front side big spins. I couldn't get the scoop. It's good for fakey big spins. I think the next video I'm going to be using the nose as the tail and cutting down the braille board 
because the tail, I've got some razor tail, I've got some chips in it. I might cut down that tail, move the trucks in a little bit. It feels so long when I'm used to all these really short boards lately. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are keeping your options open for alternative ways to make income, hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, check out my eBay links in the description. I'm selling some skate stuff on eBay. Scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because i got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.